All right, so by now, I have figured out, by the way, their characters say it in the show that her name is Ami, or at least I'm almost positive they pronounce it Ami, but and it's even spelled A-M-I instead of A-M-Y like Amy, but it's just so weird to say Ami that I'm just going to keep saying Amy. You guys can't get that mad at me. Come on. It's just a little thing. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Toradora episode. What are we on? 13. Last episode, we had the uh, Ohashi High School Culture Festival Part 2, which was the wrestling like act or show drama performance. Performance is a good word, which was very entertaining and very funny from our point of view, but very sad because Taiga's father did not end up showing up, so she didn't get to get her main performance, main act like she wanted to. And uh, it, seemed, it seems as if right now uh, Kushieda was correct on him being kind of a douchebag. But uh, Kushieda and Ryuji still have to make up from their argument about that. And then Taiga is beefing with everyone. The only person who's not beefing right now is Amy, surprisingly. Like, I mean, she always beefs with Taiga because she's the dumb chihuahua. But that's just typical, typical morning stuff. With that being said, though, as you guys know, with certain shows like this, cannot put the reaction on YouTube, so the reaction will be in the description as always, and come back here for the review, and if you guys want early access or full length to this show, all the other shows I'm watching, and to support me, consider checking out that Patreon down below. If Patreon's not really your thing and you still want to support me, you could leave a like and a nice comment on the video, it means a lot. Other than that, I say we hop into this, make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. Let's hop into this Toradora episode 13, the Ohashi High School Culture Festival, part three. If that was the end, I wouldn't be surprised if there were seasons in the show and if that was the end of season one and or if that was the end of the entire show. You know, that would uh, that felt like a, a satisfactory character arc for for at least a relationship because you don't really need to have a relationship between Taiga and Ryuji. I still think it's going to happen at the end of the show, of course, but for it to be somewhat ambiguous, what ends up happening with them, it's kind of relatable to how it is in real life with, you know, you really never know. You're with these people for now, for this week, even today, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow in the future. So I somewhat like that ambiguity and I like that, you know, it ends with Kitamura and Taiga having their dance and also Kushieda and Ryuji having their very open and natural conversation, sharing each other's feelings, which is a is a relationship and, and shows us how much closer these characters have gotten over the 13 episodes we've seen them. Because they would definitely we couldn't see this in the first couple episodes. There's no way this would have happened, you know. But uh that mixed with the character arcs and the developments between how they all feel towards Taiga and the respective relationships towards Taiga affecting their relationships between each other, they've all it, it came together and, and ended pretty well, you know, like that can make sense as to why Kushieda is somewhat jealous of Ryuji because it's so obvious you know she cares about Taiga oh so much but it's so obvious that she, Taiga genuinely really cares for Ryuji when she didn't care for uh, Kushieda like this when they originally were friends you know before Ryuji came into the picture I think that's different now I think Taiga of course obviously loves Kushieda to death now but it just shows you know honest relatable realistic relationships between these characters and like I said if this was the ending of the show I would have been a-okay i would have felt like a satisfied and i'm just saying all right guys real quick i just want to cut it in the middle of the discussion i was recording to our door earlier and i forgot to add this question in there from our discord q a if you guys don't know you guys can ask me questions and they'll be answered during the show during the discussion parts and so this one right now is from masu he says Torador, which shouts out to masu been super active in the discord i appreciate you he says getting uh after getting more familiar with I, I, I think it's pronounced Sundere. After getting more familiar with Sundere's from other shows like Steins Gate and Bunny Girl Senpai, what is your opinion on Taiga's Sundere game? Um, it's fun. It's it's really good. It, like she's a she's a master Sundere because because it's really working on Ryuji. He's obviously falling for her and likes a lot of assets and is willing to do a lot for her, but. It's a good Sundere game, but it's also not because the people who know about the game and are eye or keen to it can notice it. Like, I really still think to this day, 
Amy or Ami knows well, easily well, how much uh, Taiga really likes Ryuji. And she's just waiting for the moment where they confess their love for each other and go from there. But it's very noticeable to some people. It very is. So she has an A1 Sundari game, but unless you're keen on it, you know, so, but pretty, pretty A1, I gotta say. Thank you for the question, though. But we got another episode. I'm about to hop into it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. Of course, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, Dapper Squad.